Hello, I'm going to put together a sequence of flow involving the three main muscle groups in the core, the rectus abdominis, the internal and external obliques, and the transverse abdominis. And when I uh, look at the core, I'm, I'm looking at using the core particularly to stabilize through the center of the body, particularly when we go up maybe on one leg. Okay, and, and if you think about that, if the core is engaged now, if I was to um, just move that leg up and down, you can see that the spine isn't moving, the hips aren't moving, the pelvis isn't moving, it's all moving in the femur in the hip socket. It's because I've got my core engaged, I'm putting my core in, flattening my ribs, if you like, really engaging that transverse abdomen, just to keep things nice and stable. And if things are stable, when you do come out to balanced postures, you will find them a whole lot more accessible for you. You might still be a little bit wobbly in the ankle, which I am, um, but you will find that if you engage your core, particularly on the out-breath. The out-breath, the diaphragm comes up, so it creates space. You can really draw your core in and find that nice stability in your body. And then you can move things out of line of your center of gravity. And with a core engagement, you find that you can actually start moving with nice fluidity. So let's get started. We're gonna start on our fronts in tabletop, just to start that cat-cow process Really good to start any yoga sequence, any yoga practice off by moving, mobilizing the spine. It gives you an idea of whether or not you're carrying any stiffness in any of the spinal segments. And the spine is like a bicycle chain. You might get some stiff links, maybe down the bottom of the spine. Quite natural, quite normal. Even more so if you do a lot of sitting, even more so if you do a lot of sports. So being aware of what's going on in your spine. Okay, we're going to go straight into some movement. So take the hands forwards, tuck the toes in, lift into downward dog. Find a downward dog here, pedal through the legs. Again, just keeping the body moving, maybe circling the pelvis one way and then the other way. I quite like being quite mobile on downward dogs, maybe come into a high upward dog on our toes, pull the belly button in here to support the lumbar spine and then come back. Nice way to move the body initially. Find that sense of grounding through the hands, through the feet. This is a really good movement. It's one of the, um, I think it's five Tibetan rites, which are laid down in a lot of yoga manuals. And it's a really good way to build strength and awareness into your body. Okay, let's take a little vinyasa flow. So inhale through to plank, exhale to the floor. This time knees, chest, chin to start off with gripping, holding, holding onto the floor, tops of the feet on the floor. Pull forwards and away from the floor into cobra, drawing the shoulders back. Pull your core in, support your lumbar spine. Exhale to the floor and push up onto your knees, tuck your toes in, back into dock. Look up between the hands, bend the knees, step walk or a little float to the top of the mat, to a bentley forward bend, draw your core in, slowly come up with integrity to stand in. Inhale the hands up. As you inhale the hands up, lean into your right foot, pull your core in, float the left knee up. Exhale the foot, the hands to the floor. Okay, inhale, lift the hands up and then draw your core in as you float the, left, the right knee up with integrity and control and back to the floor, calibrating, dialing in that process of core engagement. Inhale up, draw your core in and slowly swan dive down to the floor. Hands on shins, breath in, lift the chest. Breath out, forward fold, bend the knees. And then step back to a plank here. Shoulders on top of wrists on the inhale. Okay, pull the core in, flatten the ribs. Exhale to the floor. Tops of the feet on the floor. Inhale through and up into cobra. Exhale to the floor. Tuck the toes in, push up into plank and lift the hips high, heels down, downward dock. Inhale, left leg nice and high. Exhale, knee down the middle to your nose, nose to your knee. Gauge your core. Inhale, lift up, exhale down. Inhale, right leg up, same again on this side. As you come in, exhale, create space, pull your belly in. Inhale, lift up and down. Bend the knees, look up between the hands. Come to the top of the mat, bend knee forward, bend. Pull the belly in, let the arms dangle, slowly roll up to a mountain. Inhale, the arms up, the left knee follows. 
draw your core in. Maybe take a twist here as you take the right hand on the outside of the left knee and look to the side or look back or look forwards, but keep that core engaged to tighten everything up. Take a breath here, shallow breath into the tops of the ribs. And then inhale, lift up, turn to the front, exhale the foot, the hands to the floor. Inhale, the arms up nice and wide. Ground down through the left foot as the right knee lifts up. Again, left hand onto outer edge. Maybe look to the front, look to the side, look behind. Find this twist here, but keep the core engaged. It doesn't matter if this is alien to you and you start to wobble. Everything comes with time. Exhale the foot, the hands to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Swan dive down to the floor on the breath out. Hands to shins or ankles. Half lift. And forward fold now. Bend to the knees of the bomb. Hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Shoulders on top of wrists and level out here. Draw your core in. Feel grounded through the hands. Push back into the heels. And breathe. And feel that engagement of your core. Okay. I'm going to go half plank here. So keep the elbows tucked in. Half plank. Chaturanga and then push back up to plank. Okay, we'll do that again. So half plank, chaturanga, and push back up, and then lift the hips up, heels down, downward dog. Okay, little interesting movement coming up. Inhale the left leg nice and high, three-legged dog. On an exhale, bring, bring the left knee right in towards the nose, nose to knee. Now from here, we're gonna roll onto the outer edge of our right foot, and come all the way down on our bottoms, and then find boat post. As you find boat pose here, come back behind the sit bones, take the shoulders back, flatten your ribs, draw everything in. Just stay static here a moment just to feel this boat pose. It's more about the sequence, the movement, and knowing where we're going. Okay, and then come out of boat, gonna come back into downward dog. So come all the way back onto the mat and lift up, three-legged dog, left leg nice and high, and then Exhale down. Right leg nice and high, three-legged dog. Right knee down the middle of the mat, knee to nose, nose to knee. Same on this side. Roll onto the outer edge of the left foot, nice and slow. Step in the ball of the right foot back. Find the ground in, and then slowly onto your bum. Float to boat. Okay. In this boat, going to hold here, just static, just exploring that sequence because we'll come back to it as we develop the flow. Again, flattening the ribs here, coming back behind the sit bone, taking the shoulders back. More about hip flexors than core, but still really important posture to develop that strength and integrity, integrity in your core. Okay, take the left foot back onto the mat, left hand onto the mat, and then slowly pivoting, coming up downward dog. Vinyasa flow. Inhale through to plank. Exhale, half plank. Tops of the feet on the floor. Inhale, draw up into cobra or upward dog. Shoulders back. Draw the belly in to support the lumbar spine. Inhale here. On an exhale, lift the hips up. Step, roll over the toes. Downward dog. Look up between the hands. Bend the knees. Step, walk or jump to the top of the mat. Slowly roll up. Draw the belly in. Arms come up nice and wide, ground down through your right foot, floating the left knee up, center line of the body to keep your center of gravity narrow. Use your core. Maybe if you're here, and then if the knee is high, you don't have to lean so far down to catch the toes. Only go with whatever you've got on your body and come back down, inhale the hands up, ground down through the left foot, floated the right knee up and take the twist again. Establish the balance here. If it's there for you, maybe go for hand to toe. Maybe it's not right yet, but only go with what you can. And each time practice, practice, push the boundaries. That way it will come to you. Exhale, foot, hands to the floor. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, float down. Hands on shins. With a breath in, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the floor. Step back to downward dog. Okay, going to mix it up a bit now. So inhale the left leg nice and high up onto the toes of the right foot. Exhale the left foot forward between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, rising all the way up, high lunge. 
And as the arms come up, draw your solar plexus up into your rib crest, looking forwards, and then bend in the knees as you draw the arms down, palms face in, elbows back. You really pull, engage your core solar plexus, rectus abdominis here, pulling it all in, feeling that strength here. Taking a few breaths, keeping the breath nice and slow, pushing back into that back heel, feeling strong in this posture. Shoulder blades come toward each other in the middle of the back. Inhale the hands up. Now find rocket. As you take the torso forwards in line with that back leg and then keeping your core engaged to support the additional stress now on the body. Inhale here, on an exhale, sweep the left arm back. Inhale here, exhale, move. Inhale. As you exhale, tighten everything up. You can see it's just the arms moving. Everything else is rock solid. Core engagement, functional stability. Both arms nice and long. When you're ready, step up for a balance here on your left foot. Maybe a warrior three if it's there for you. Keeping that core engagement. Drop the hands to the floor and then slowly float that right foot back. Hands to the floor, step back, dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, half plank, chaturanga. Inhale onto your toes, your feet, and then lift up into upward dog or cobra. Shoulders black. Draw the belly and support the lumbar spine. Exhale, inhale here, and on the exhale, roll, step over into dog. Inhale, right leg nice and high. Exhale, right foot forward between the hands. Okay, ready to rise up into. Crescent lunge, high crescent lunge, and then bending the knees down, palms face in as you draw the elbows back. Breathe in here. Pulling the solar plexus in, feeling the strength in your core. Keep that engagement throughout if you can. Just think, if you had your core engaged throughout, you would float through the air. Okay, inhale, lift the hands up, pull your belly in, come forwards. Drop the right hand down, inhale here. On an exhale, inhale, exhale. Both arms forward, step up, warrior three. Keeping your core engaged. Hands to the floor. Step back, all the way back to downward dog. Inhale through to plank. Exhale, half plank. And through into upward dog or cobra. Exhale, down with dog. Okay. And then inhale, left leg nice and high. I'm going to exhale that uh, knee all the way down the middle, as we did before. When you come into this really tight posture, roll onto the outer edge of your right foot, step back, float to boat. From here, I'm going to take a twist in boat. So this is oblique muscles now. Stay here and breathe. Come all the way back. Twist to the other side. Come all the way back and then dropping that right foot onto the floor to lift back up three-legged dog and then back down to dog. Inhale the right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale right knee down the middle to nose. Roll onto the edge of the left foot and float this side. And we go again. Twisting boat here. Shoulders one way. Arms still shoulder width apart. Legs the other way. Feel that oblique engagement. And come round the other side. 
and breathe. Come back to boat, take that left foot on the floor, pivot around, lift up, three-legged dog. Okay, come forwards into a chaturanga, and all the way through into upward dog, downward dog. Look up between the hands, jump to the top of the mat or walk. Now your arms to dangle, bend the forward bend, slowly roll up to mountain. Inhale the hands up, grounding down through the right foot, left knee floats up. Take a twist if it's there for you. Maybe hand to toe if it's there for you. But use your core to keep that stability in your body. Always find, finding even more strength. You get so used to using it, that it becomes almost natural. Inhale up, ground down through your left foot. Right knee floats up down the center line of the body. Take a twist. Find the balance. Take your time. Keeping the movements nice and close to the center line of your body, minimizing any deviation from center of gravity. And if it doesn't work the first time, try again. And exhale to the floor. Inhale up and swan dive down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward bend. Into the floor, bend the knees. Step back, downward dog. And then inhale, left leg nice and high. Exhale, knee to nose. Round onto the outer edge, float to boat. Okay, this time we're gonna go tall boat, reach up, toes on, fingers on toes. Hold and breathe. And then come back to low boat. Lengthening out the body as much as you can. Looking down at your toes, keeping your core Engaged, holding all together into boat and then low boat. Boat, low boat, boat, low boat, boat, low boat, right foot on the floor, all the way back up three legged dog, and then exhale to the floor. Other leg up, three legged dog, knee to nose. Roll right onto the edge of the foot. Drop down, float to boat. Okay. And then tour boat. Whatever you can do is good. And then boat. And then a low boat, a long boat. Keeping everything tight. Come back to Boat, low boat, boat, low boat. Left foot on the floor, all the way back up, three-legged dog. Exhale to dog, inhale to plank. Exhale to the floor, cobra, upward dog. Exhale. Dog, look up between the hands, tap, walk or jump to the top of the floor. Pull the belly in, roll up. Inhale the hands up, ground down through the right foot. Standing star with a twist. And the other side, the right knee up, standing staff with a twist, keeping that knee high, then the foot doesn't have to travel so far. Feel that stability. Exhale down, inhale up. And swan dive down, hands on shins, inhale, half lift, exhale to the floor, bend in the knees. It's time to step back to plank, leveling out the body here, toe tap out to the left, 
toe tap to the right, toe tap to the left, to the right. One more. Trying to keep that whole body flat. Okay. And then with the pelvis staying where it is, moving the femurs, knee taps. Come back to downward dog. Drop onto your knees. Tucking the toes in, lift the knees off a few inches. Find the stability here. Draw everything in, pull your belly into your spine. Inhale, on an exhale, push into the left toes, float the right knee up. Inhale, down, but don't touch the floor. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, down. Exhale, up and down. And one more, hold, pulse. Five, inhale down, change over, push into the right toes, exhale, left knee up, inhale down, up, down, up, down, and up, and one, two, three, four, five, down, downward dog. Inhale through to the plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, shoulders are tied. Draw the chest through and up, cobra. Exhale to the floor. Inhale up onto your knees and child pose here just to stretch out through the back and rest your shoulders. And then come up into tabletop, tuck the toes in. We're going to go once more now. So lift the left leg nice and high, three-legged dog. Knee down to the middle. Roll onto the outer edge. Find boat, but roll onto your back. Draw your knees in. Yogi bike, straight the left leg. Left elbow comes in towards the right knee. Inhale here, on an exhale, move. Inhale and go on the exhale. And slow movement, pushing those toes away from you, going on the exhale. Okay, and then back roll. Up, all the way down with dog, and lift the right leg up. Knee to nose, roll all the way down onto your backs, and again. Keeping the lower back grounded, the lumbar spine. And then roll up, lifting all the way back to dog. Not so flamboyantly graceful. And then inhale through to plank. One more vinyasa here. Exhale, half plank all the way to the floor. Inhale onto the top of the feet or your knees or cobra. And exhale, downward dog. And then we're going to come down onto our bottoms, finally. So you can just come onto your bottoms or maybe a jump through, if that's there for you. Come down onto your back. And then straighten your legs up. Ground your lower back. Reach your hands up either side of your straight legs. And then on the exhale, lift the chest up. Inhale back. Exhale, lift up. Inhale back. And do five of these. Go and eat a little bit further each time. Hold this last one.
and release. Keep the arms here and then start moving the arms side to side. Let's get those obliques engaged. And release. Come back up to a seated position, loosely crossing your legs and lift the spine up. I'm going to take a little gentle twist. So an easy twist, left hand on right knee, right hands behind to lift through the spine, squeeze through your spine, your torso, squeeze through those core muscles that have just had a little bit of a warm up workout. And release. Turn it around in the other direction. Turn through, find a bind, and then squeeze into it. And come back. Okay, so um, really, um, a few things there to um, hopefully just bring some awareness to uh, the core. And it's not all about sit-ups, is it really? No. So what about functional stability? And try to catch yourself um, whenever you're uh, doing your day stuff, whatever you do during the day. When you reach for something, when you bend over, when you do anything that involves taking stress in the body, taking limbs away. See if you can get into that habit of drawing everything in. It really does benefit you. It really does improve your um, stability and reduce the risk of any issues with your back. You think of the transverse abdomen as a corset muscle, which squeezes around the spine, squeezes around the spine. So most of us got bulging discs somewhere. There's only a few of us, or quite a few of us, it touches the nerves. It gives us chronic back pain. But if you think your corset muscle, your transverse abdomen is really strong, dense, lots and lots of really powerful fibers squeezing all those discs back in, then it will reduce uh, the risk for you. And that is really just a, a, an example of a sequence with quite a lot of core work in it. It's not something I would teach as a, as a class, but it gives you some ideas to play around with to build into your own uh, flows. Now I did do the jump through there, not successfully, um, but I'm going to post another video up on my channel uh, about jump throughs and how you can develop the technique for jump through. Because the other thing this was hopefully trying to demonstrate is it's quite easy to go from sagittal plane, sun salutation, forwards and backwards, and then come on your back. Because then once you're on your back, you've got a whole new plethora of postures of asanas to explore. And then you can come back on your front again. And that's not even, we didn't even look at any dancing warriors where we do um, frontal plane movement. So a little bit more, um, you know, uh, options there in terms of uh, mixing it up with your flows. Hope you liked it. Um, send me any messages. Um, like me if you, if you can, if you do like it. If you're thinking, oh God, that was hard and don't like it. But uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Okay, stay safe. I'll post another video up uh, in the next uh, few days or so. Enjoy your yoga. Thank you.